going to do the Capricorn and Scorpio love reading and this may or may not resonate with you if it does take what does if it does not leave what does not then it was meant for someone else all right so we have some romance angels for the middle and then I have a deck here and a deck here so whatever side you feel resonates with you or it could just be one big message for you all right so let's get some romance angel and see what we got going on between the two of you we have attraction we have calling in your soulmate and we have you deserve love all right so we have attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully so to me that i feel that represents being positive being happy you know focusing on the positive um, calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together and then you deserve love you are lovable so again keeping yourself in that positive energy, knowing that you deserve love, you deserve a relationship, that you need to make those choices that are best for you. And that I feel that there is definitely a connection between the two of you because we have calling in your soulmate. So I definitely feel that, you know, if this is something that you are not in union yet, that this is headed your way. So you will feel that connection, just making sure that you are, until that person gets there, that you're keeping yourself in that positive energy, that you're not getting frustrated, that you're not going to the negative and believing that you know maybe if it's not happening for you now that yes you do deserve love but you want to wait until you have that relationship with someone and you have that connection because being in a relationship that you know you're not feeling anything or there's not that connection it's just i feel like it's just toxic energy and it just brings more negative than positive right because then you're not feeling it that person's not feeling it, or you're arguing or you're fighting or you're you know, you're like, why am I even in this? I'm not feeling happy, you know? You're like having to explain yourself or just not being in that positive energy. And I feel like this is, you know, if this person hasn't come in, it's like, we're waiting until that right person comes in so you can, you can have that stronger relationship, right? The star, wishing on a star, keeping that positive energy, keeping the faith, right? King of Swords, knowing that when the time is right, that person will come in for you. And again, the Wheel of Fortune, when the time is right, it will happen. We have the Fool. We have the Devil card, so the Capricorn card. And we have the Ten of Wands. And yay, the Ten of Cups as overall energy. So for this side over here, we have the Ten of Cups for overall energy. So that's very positive energy. It's that homey, that safe, that good feeling that you're having. So if you are already in a relationship with this person over here, that you feel that connection, right? We have this calling in your soulmate and that attraction. You feeling that connection with that person. You're feeling positive. Um, I feel like there's some changes going on within the relationship. Basically, I just feel like there's really good energy going on between the two of you. There's some things, I feel like it's almost like you're thinking deeper thoughts about this relationship and maybe it's moving it to the next level. Maybe it's if you just started dating someone that you want to be exclusive or it's like you want to move in together or, you know, whatever that next level is within the relationship. I'm kind of feeling like this person over here is kind of thinking about those options, you know, thinking about the future, thinking about those changes within this relationship and I feel that it gives them a very positive feeling a very happy feeling um, and a good feeling for future energies we have the fool so it's like taking that leap of faith to the next step of the relationship and the devil card can also represent a very strong physical attraction between two people right that you have that physical chemistry between each other that that really works for you we have the Ten of Wands, so it's about tens or completions, and it's like not worrying about things anymore. And kind of, I feel like it's almost like just letting this relationship evolve, like kind of like the wheel, like just just let things happen, not putting any um, stress on it, not kind of, you know, sometimes we put a lot of pressure on relationships that we want it to go in a certain direction, and it's almost like we're so focused on that direction that we want it to get to so say it's marriage like you're so focused on 
you know, this is this is the one and I'm going to get married. And yeah, that's good energy to have out there. But if you're just focusing on that end, right, of it, this has to be the one, like I have to get married, you know, that time is running out, it has to happen now, that you're putting too much pressure on it and you're not really enjoying or taking that time to get that, to know that person on a one-on-one -on -one level and a friendship level and letting the relationship develop naturally like you're pushing things and you're forcing things and anytime you try and do that like it it just never works very well it, it will just backfire and that's not what you want like there's a good attraction and chemistry between these two so you want to make sure that you take your time with that and you don't push anything or force anything with that right two of swords um, seven of pentacles Ten of Cups, right? So you both have Ten of Cups. So you're both. That's what I was feeling is that you're you're both feeling that happy. Like, look, at, I love her her face on this card. Like, she's very happy. She has a really big smile on her face. She's very happy. Um, we have the Three of Cups. We have the High Priestess. The Moon. And Knight of Swords, and then I feel like one more, um, the Five of Pentacles. I'm feeling like maybe one more. Yeah, Page, Page of Cups. All right. So for this side, overall energy, we have the Page of Cups, which is that your emotions and your feelings, kind of at the beginning. So maybe this is a relationship that has just started. Like you're, you, the two of you are just starting to get to know each other you're learning about each other right i feel because this is young energy um so i feel like it's beginning kind of beginner energy and then we have the five of pentacles with the hand reaching out making sure that you connect with that person on an emotional level right you get to know that person and then we have the knight of um swords which again swords are you know that thinking that mental energy um, thinking about those things kind of I just feel like it's the beginning the beginning of a relationship or a reconnection or something like that for some reason I was having this thought that maybe it is that the two of you are getting back together like you used to be together and then you're getting back together um, moving forward right the knight of swords not rushing anything because the knight of swords energy usually is really quick moving energy and again I feel like it's not rushing anything I feel like it's making sure that you take your time for current energies, we have the ten of we have the ten of cups, we have the seven of cor seven of pentacles, and the two of swords. I feel like this side is a little more hesitant and needs a little bit more time. They feel this positive energy. They want to move things forward, but again, I feel like this side just wants to make sure that they feel it, that they don't rush into anything, that they don't hurry anything. I do feel that this time this side wants to look at all 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 angles of this relationship i feel like this side is maybe um just getting back into dating or like i was feeling before with the seven of pentacles is that maybe the two of you had known each other before or you dated before and you kind of took a break and now you're both reconnecting and this side is a little more hesitant i feel this side is a little more hesitant for future energies, we have the Three of Cups, the High Priestess, and the Moon. I feel like this side wants to make sure that if they move forward with the relationship, that that's what they're feeling, like that's what they want to do, that they're feeling like this is the right thing for them. They want to be clear, right? They want to be clear on how they feel. They want to be clear on the direction that they want to move in, and they want to be clear on their intentions within this relationship. I do feel there's an attraction. Um, I do feel that there is some chemistry, but again, I just have this this feeling of not rushing it, just taking time. Um, I feel like it's exciting. You're both excited. You're both happy. Um, you're feeling that connection on many different levels between the two of you, but it's something you have to be careful with to not push because I feel like if you push this side, I feel this side will back away. That's, that's just what I'm feeling. And it's making sure that you communicate. Like if this side is feeling like 
you know, I just want to take my time, make sure that you communicate it to the other side so that the other side isn't feeling like, well, is that person doesn't want to be with me and that person is putting walls up and that's that person, you know, then, then it's like the thinking gets crazy, right? And that could be the devil card is the thinking gets crazy and you start going into the negativity and you get this toxic energy and then that just creates a whole bunch of problems. Again, as I always say, I feel like communication is very important within relationships and explaining how you feel to the other person or what's going on with you and how you're feeling because that helps the other person to understand, right? If you think about it, it's like you like to hear that information. You like to hear what is going on with someone else um, because that helps you to understand how that's feeling, how that person's feeling it, and how you can move forward within the situation instead of just trying to guess right trying to, well i i guess this is how i guess this person likes me but they're feels like they're putting walls up feels like they're kind of putting on the brakes but i guess they like me i don't know do they you know and then it just starts going crazy so i just feel like making sure that the two of you keep those lines of communication open so that you know how each other's feel but i feel like there's de overall there's there's definitely positive energy between the two of you it's just taking it slow all right so let's get a romance card and close out with one of these you both have the ten of cups so i love that okay so you're both feeling that that ten of cups energy okay that was like a whole pile i'm kind of feeling this one this one here all right, balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. I love that, okay? Supports and challenges, having those discussions, you know, being able to talk about things, supports each other, having that communication open, right? Um, and both being in that energy of that Ten of Cups, I love it. So you both have that Ten of Cups, so there is definitely good feelings between the two of you. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.